Today we'll be preparing a standard solution of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed of copper 2 sulfate using precise lab techniques. This video is perfect for IB chemistry students learning about standard solutions and molarity. First let's calculate the number of moles of copper 2 sulfate we need. The concentration C is 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed and the volume V is 0.1 decimeters cubed. So the number of moles is simply the concentration multiplied by the volume. So 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed multiplied by 0.1 decimeters cubed equals 0.01 moles. We'll be using copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, so we need to find the mass of 0.01 moles of this substance. The molar mass of copper sulfate pentahydrate is the sum of the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the compound, which can be found in the periodic table. The molar mass is 249.72 grams per mole. To calculate the mass, we need to use the equation mass equals number of moles multiplied by molar mass. So 0.01 moles multiplied by 249.72 grams per mole gives us a mass of 2.497 grams. So we'll weigh out 2.497 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate. Next, I weigh exactly 2.497 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate using a precision balance. It's important to be as accurate as possible when preparing a standard solution, so take your time here. I use a spatula to gradually add the crystals until I reach the desired mass. Now that we've measured the copper sulfate, I'm washing a clean beaker with distilled water to ensure there's no contamination. Then I transfer the copper sulfate into the beaker. To make sure no crystals are left behind, I squirt some distilled water from a wash bottle into the weighing boat to transfer all of the solid into the beaker. Next I add more distilled water to the beaker and begin stirring the mixture. It's important to stir until all of the copper sulfate crystals are completely dissolved. You want the solution to be homogeneous, so keep stirring until you can't see any solid at the bottom of the beaker. If you are finding this video helpful, why don't you go ahead and subscribe for more chemistry tutorials. It sure does help the channel grow. Now I'm washing a 100cm cubed volumetric flask and a funnel with distilled water to ensure they are clean. Any residue could affect the accuracy of the solution. Using the funnel, I carefully pour the copper sulfate solution into the volumetric flask. Again, I use distilled water from the wash bottle to rinse out the beaker, ensuring that every bit of the copper sulfate solution makes its way into the volumetric flask. Now it's time to make the solution up to the vinyl volume. I add distilled water until the meniscus is just below the 100 cm cubed mark. Then, using a clean dropping pipette, I carefully add distilled water drop by drop until the bottom of the meniscus is exactly level with the 100 cm cube line. Once the volume is correct, I put the stopper on the flask and invert it several times. This step is crucial to ensure the solution is homogeneous, meaning that the concentration is the same throughout the flask. Finally, I label the flask with the contents, concentration and the date. This is important for keeping track of your standard solutions in the lab. 
And that's how you prepare a standard solution of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed copper 2 sulfate. This method is fundamental for titrations and many other experiments in IB chemistry.